الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله ونشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أرسله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله ولو كره الكافرون يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعض فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الحديث هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم والشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بضعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار Alhamdulillah, inna alhamdulillah, we start with the praise of Allah, inna alhamdulillah, surely all praise is due to Allah, inna alhamdulillah. And hamd has several meanings. Hamd means to praise, to use words, beautiful words that are done for a voluntary beautiful action. And Allah has voluntarily willed that this, this world come into existence. So we praise Him for that. And that's the linguistic meaning. Then we have the shara'i meaning. The meaning, it's that what the, the meaning of hamd according to Ahl al-Shara' is that it's, a, it's an action that springs forth from your recognition of the fact that some good has been done. And that action is either by the tongue, so it's good praise with the words, or it's by your limbs, or by belief in the mind. And all three of these is praise for Allah, that we believe in Allah and Him being the greatest the greatest of, of uh, he, him being the, the only creator and him being the greatest. When we say Allahu Akbar, that we, we wholly believe that with our minds and we give ham to Allah through that. And then when we give ham to Allah with our actions, with our deficient actions, we give praise to him by coming and attending the prayers. When the prayers have been shut down for a long time, but now alhamdulillah we're gathered for one of the for the first Jum'ah in, in a long time here. So we say alhamdulillah, inna alhamdulillah. We praise Allah that He has allowed us to gather. He has allowed us to gather the people who we, we've missed the masjid. But Alhamdulillah, we've missed seeing each other, missed orienting our hearts towards Allah together. But Allah has allowed us the opportunity, so, so we say, Alhamdulillah. Inna Alhamdulillah. That praise is for Allah. And we can give complete shukr to Allah. We give complete, th- we can th- give complete gratitude to Allah. And shukr is for, for the servant to orient what Allah has blessed him with for what it was created for. That we were created for worship. That Allah says in Surah Dariyat that we have not created you and created man and jinn except for what? Except to worship me. So that we give shukr to Allah by expressing our, we express our shukr to Allah by worshiping Him and using all the faculties that He has given us to worship Him. That whether it be with our, with our, with our with our limbs when we pray, or whether it be that with our tongues when we make dhikr, whether it be, it be with our with our mouths when we drink water and eat food, that we make sugar with those with those with those with those those faculties that Allah has given us. That the sugar to eat to, and to make sugar while you're eating food is to eat food that Allah has Allah eat eat good food, halal and tayyib, that something that Allah approves of, so that you may give yourself you may give yourself a sort of strength to keep your back straight. To, to continue to worship to continue to worship Allah. To give shukr for the jobs that we've we've been given is to thank Allah for every single every single every single portion of sustenance that comes to us. Recognizing that it doesn't come from our bosses and it comes from Allah. And then to use that in the in the in the pleasure of Allah, whether it's supporting our families, whether it's putting a smile on our families, whether it's giving to the masajid, whatever it may be, however we may he, however we may uh, spend that, that provisions that Allah has given us, that the important thing is that we, we do it for we do it with the with the recognition that I'm doing this for the pleasure of Allah. To orient orient all our actions for the pleasure of Allah. And to give shukr to Allah that He's been merciful with us. Before we start any surah of the Quran we say Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. Allah has ninety nine names and above. Right? But why these two names? Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. The most merciful and the most merciful. 
They both mean the most merciful. One is, the, one is universal mercy, one is particular mercy. Right? And Allah has given us both of those, both of those mercies, universal mercies and particular mercies. So we say, we say, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, every step that we take, before we go to sleep, before we wake up, before we eat, before we pray, before we make wudu, whatever, we, whatever it may be uh, that we're doing, any good action that we may be doing, we start with the name of Allah, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. And what is the greatest mercy that Allah has given us? Allah says, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ Speaking about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that I have not sent you except as rahmatan lil alameen, except as a, as a mercy for all of the world. That this that, that the, the, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the mercy sent to all of the world. And so we're in the month of Rabia, the spring. That's what Rabia means, Rabia al the first spring. Now we're, we might be in, in fall technically, according to the solar calendar, but this is called the first spring. That with his coming Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, with his coming, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the, the, the truth sprang forth, and mercy sprang forth, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And that we should make sugar of that. And the way to make sugar of that is to is to actualize Allah's Allah's words about him, that we have raised your remembrance. That if Allah is speaking to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, we have raised your remembrance. That if Allah has raised his remembrance, sallallahu alaihi wasallam then you know he's something great. That he is the greatest of creation. Allah has raised his remembrance. Allah has raised his remembrance. Allah and his angels send their salutations and blessings on the Prophet Sallallahu Allah says, Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi Ya ayuhal ladhina amunu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima That Allah has, Allah and his angels both send their salutations and their benedictions on the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and then he had, uh, commanded us to do the same. That Allah does that action and the angels do that action. And of course, our action and the angel's action, that is nothing like the way, that nothing uh, compared to the action of Allah, of Him sending a salutation and blessing to Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But we, we have the invitation to send our salutations upon Him. Right? So we say, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. When we send our salutations and blessings on the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we're recognizing and making shukr for that spring that Allah has sent us. The spring of all springs. That any good that has come has brought forth from Him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Any, any good that has come to us has come through Him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That Allah has allowed us to enter this in, enter, enter, enter into our worship through Him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That Allah allows us to enter into, into, into His worship through Him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That He has allowed us, He has saved us, from, he saved us from, a, from, a, from a painful punishment through Him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. How do we save our souls? With the shahada we say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Right? But is that it? Is that it? We, re we recognize that Allah is the only object of worship. But our faith is incomplete until we recognize the one that Allah sent us, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the one who taught us how to worship Him. Azza wa Jal. Wa ashadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We testify that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the Rasul, the Messenger of Allah. That He's the one that delivers us the message from Allah. And He's the one that delivers us to Allah. That if we do not follow, through, do not follow His method the way that He is pleased with, the way that he has, the way that he has brought us this, brought us this, 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 uh, this way, the, the, the way that he has brought us, then we can't reach Allah, because nothing is. The, the, he's the final Rasul of Allah, the final messenger of Allah. That any sort of ideologies, any sort of um, sort of substitutes that we may come up with, are not Rasul Allah. Rather, it's Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam that he is the Rasul of Allah. He is the one who delivers us to Allah. He is the one who delivers from what Allah has given to us. So, if we don't enter through that bab, if we don't enter through that door, we can't reach Allah. And how do we get to the Prophet by going through the people who connect us to Him, through our teachers, our parents are our first teachers. We should make shukr of the, for the fact that Allah has given us parents. If we have our parents with us, we should make shukr of that. If we don't have our parents with us. And we should make sugar of the other teachers that have, that, have, that have tied us down to this deen and that given us this given us the the, 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 the the knowledge to know that we should be worshiping Allah. And so we make sugar for that. And this is a month or be an awan is a month where we uh, remember the, the the blessings that Allah has given us. And the best way to remember that blessing is to act upon what he what he what he had commanded, so Allah wa sallam, knowing that he that his commandments did not come from anyone other than Allah. Right? Allah says, وَمَا يَمْتِقُوا عَنِ الْهَوَىٰ He did not speak from his own accord. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That whatever he commanded was the, was the divine pleasure. 
And to recognize that when we obey what he says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then we obey Allah. وَأَطِيَ اللَّهَ وَأَطِيَ الرَّسُولِ Right? وَأَطِيَ اللَّهَ وَأَطِيَ الرَّسُولِ That obey Allah and obey the Messenger. They always come together in the Qur'an. أَطُونَ قَوْلِ هَذَا وَاسْتَغْفِرَ اللَّهَ لِي وَلَكُمْ لِسَالِ الْمُسْلِمِينَ يَعْقَوْنِ اسْتَغْفِرُونَ إِنَّهُمْ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه. الله says لئن شكرتم لأزيدنكم. that if you thank لئن شكرتم. if you are thankful if you have gratitude لأزيدنكم. then then what then I will increase you. so whatever blessings that we may have found we say we say we we thank Allah for those blessings that Allah has allowed us to gather. Alhamdulillah after Jum'ah after so long. And we make sugar to Allah that He might increase us. If Allah has given us health, we say we make sugar that Allah has given us health. If Allah has put us in a difficult position, we make sugar that Allah and then Allah perhaps might remove us from that difficult position. And we praise Allah for every situation that He's put us, put us in. That if Allah has put us in difficulty, we make sugar for it, asking that Allah lifts lifts the difficulty from us. That we're, we're pleased with the difficulty that Allah has given us, but we ask for His afia. We ask for His ease. And if He's put us in, He's put us in blessing, then we make we make shukr on that, and then ask that this ease does not allow us to divert our attention away from what Allah wants, that we don't get comfortable. So we ask Allah that we be people who are consistent shukr of Him. We ask Allah who are people who are, are consistent hamd of Him, consistent making hamd of Him, consistent praising Him, consistently being grateful towards Him. We ask Allah for gratitude. And for praise of the of the of the the means that He has sent us to reaching reaching Him, Azza wa Jal. We ask Allah for shukr for our parents and for our teachers. We ask Allah for shukr for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that He has sent us. We ask Allah for shukr for the fact that we have been we know to be doing a certain action at a certain time in a certain place. We ask Allah for shukr for that. We ask Allah and He allows us to not be people who are heedless. We ask Allah that He doesn't allow us to be people who turn away from the from the message that He has given us. We ask Allah that we don't be, we don't be people who are blind to the message message that has come to us. We ask Allah we're not people who are blind to the messenger Salah that has been sent to us. We ask Allah to make us a people of gratitude and make us a people of praise. We say, and we ask Allah that He allows no peace to enter our hearts except that it comes through Him. We ask Allah that we find no peace in our hearts except in Him. So we say, Allahumma anta salam wa minka salam tabarakta ya dhan jalali wal ikram hayyina wa dhkina dar salam ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وفي العذاب النار ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا وذرياتنا قرة عيون وجعلنا للمتقين إماما رب ارحمهما كما ربياني صغيرا 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 إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا وحبيبنا وقرة عيننا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وعلى أزواج سيدنا محمد وعلى أصحاب سيدنا محمد وعلى أتباع سيدنا محمد وعلى أمة سيدنا محمد وعلى أحباب سيدنا محمد وبارك وسلم صل عليه إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون واذكروا الله يذكركم وادعوه يستجب لكم ولذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون وأقم الصلاة